Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to fit this white oak PVC folding door. We're going to be showing you the fitments, how it fits, a few tips along the way, and if this door is indeed any good. So stay tuned. So I got this folding door because I've got limited accessibility to a small cupboard within my house. I've looked on the internet and in shops and I can't actually find a door that fits this door frame. So I'm going to see what this folding door is like, if it does the job right and I'll leave my verdict later on. Let's get started by having a look what's in the box. Now as I'm opening up this box, let me just tell you that I'm going to put the link to where you can buy this folding door from in the description below and what tools you may need for the job. Pulling the folding door out of the box, I can see there's no bubble wrap or foam protection. Basically, it's wrapped in plastic, and inside the plastic, I can see there's a top track inside and the components at the bottom here. As well as the folding door, we're going to lay out and list the rest of the components. So let's start with the top track. Then we have two handles, seven nylon glides, one metal plate, one T-top glide, two pins, six screws, three times 12 millimeters, seven screws, three times 22 millimeters, and one connector. Now the fun part, the assembly. Now it would be wise to ask someone for help in certain stages of the assembly, but it's not crucial. And even though there's minimal mess, you may need the dust sheet or bin to collect cuttings or trimmings if need be later on. To get started, we're first gonna measure the width and length of the doorway using a tape measure. Then using a small fine saw, use the saw to cut the top track to four millimeters less than the width of the doorway. Ensure you cut the track to the correct length. Now remembering that we cut the top track four millimeters less than the width of the doorway, we're going to be positioning this top track two millimeters from the left and from the right of the doorway width. Now before putting your top track in place, it's always best to know where your top track is going to be situated. Try and get it central in the middle of the door frame. Measure out with a pen or pencil, remembering the two millimeters from the left and to the right. Screw in the top track from one side. Then once that's screwed in, pivot the other end out. With the length of your doorway noted down, cut the folding door 5mm less than the length of your doorway. You can do this by using the small saw or a pair of scissors. Make sure you cut from the bottom of the door and keep in mind if you do use the pair of scissors that you must use a saw on the side track. If you want to use a small fine saw on this door, then keep the folded door folded tight. The tip is to use industrial tape, wrap it around at the specified size and then just cut away you'll end up with an even surface all the way around. So, grab all of your nylon glides and carefully fit them to the top of your folding door. Bearing in mind the last glide is fitted with the connector using a screwdriver. Use these two pins to fix the handles into place. You'll notice on the pins and on the handles, they'll have notches of which direction the pins should be with regards to the handles. Just simply post the pins through the holes on the folding door then squeeze the handle onto it, keeping it in place, and then just squeeze and then press. With your top track pivoted out, carefully slide the folding door into the top track. Then swing the top track back so it's parallel with the door frame. Use the screws to fit the top track in place. And before continuing to the next step, with your door now in place on the top track, make sure there's enough distance from the floor to the bottom of the door. If need be, cut some more away before fitting the top track in place. Fitting the top track using the 22mm screws, please be careful. Any scratches or marks or any types of chips in the top track itself will affect the nylon ties from moving swiftly along the top track. If everything is fine, swing the top track back so it's parallel with the door frame. Then use the 22mm screws to fix the top track in place. Just a note, before when you cut the top track using a saw, you may have cut away some of the pilot holes. Simply grab a drill and draw yourself some new pilot holes on the top track. And now finally on to the last steps. Use the 6 12mm screws provided to fix the folding door onto the edge of the door frame. And then we're going to close the folding door. Check the position where we want the metal plate. Mark out the positions on the door frame. Once it's correct, we're then going to screw the metal plate into position, just like so. With your folding door now fully fitted, it should open and close with ease, with the magnetic part of the door connecting perfectly with the metal plate on the door frame. Now this door is fully fitted, I give you my verdict. 
It looks pretty good in this door frame, but it actually feels very fragile. And opening the door using one hand on the handle, it feels like I must support the top of the door using the other hand. I find also when you're opening the door, the bottom part swings across because it doesn't have a track to run in. I wouldn't use this for an internal door such as a bathroom or bedroom, I'd actually keep this to a small cupboard as a cheap alternative to a wooden door that would need fitting. But anyway, I hope this video helped, I'll leave any helpful links in the description below. Please press that like button, share and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.